Hello peoples, this is Slicer424, and this is my very first Let's Play video. Now, I'm going to decide to do a Let's Play on FFT, or Final Fantasy Tactics, because it's one of my favorite games of all time. And I'm not just doing any ordinary Let's Play, I'm also doing an SCC. What it, now, what SCC stands for is Single Class Challenge. Basically what it means, uh, not basically, basically what it means is I have to play through the entire game using only one class. Now this is going to be a bit of a unique SCC because I'm going to be using a monster class. And the monster class I will be using is Black Chocobo. Now there's a couple reasons why I decided to go with Black Chocobo. Number one is that out of the three Chocobo classes, Black Chocobos have the highest evasion and the highest damage in close range. Although, even though they are the slowest, so it, it'll help me it'll help me uh, boost in my damage so that I can get past certain bosses that could basically two shot me um, but something that's gonna make also another reason why I picked it is because I wanted to do a a average uh, type monster I didn't want to do like a archaic demon or a, a dragon or something like that I wanted to do a normal normal character now What's going to make this Let's Play challenging is the fact that I cannot equip anything. I cannot have any armor, any weapons, no accessories because I am I am a monster. All my people are monsters. And they cannot have any items, which means every time I fight against a human, I will be at a disadvantage because I will have to use my base stats, my base health, my base MA and my best base PA. So it can be it's going to be challenging. Although at the first chapter, I'm going to be doing a lot more damage than most of the characters, but also I'm only going to have 24 hit points through the out the entire chapter. Well, not just well, but probably you know, after I finish ch second chap, the first chapter I'll probably be around 40 health by the end of the first chapter. So anyway, without further ado, let's just jump right in it. Oh, for God's sakes! You know, every single time I forget about this bloody cutscene. Now I am going to be fast forwarding through the cutscene, so if you hear any static. Uh, it's because I'm holding the fast forward button. Um, so if you hear any static, just uh, feel free to skip ahead in the video if it bugs you that much. If not, just uh, mute the video until uh, I get through the cutscene. Now I will be skipping through the cutscenes because um, I'm doing 100% recording videos. Like I'll be recording every minute of my Let's Plays. And so these scenes are going to make them very long. And since I only have, I'm only doing 10 minute long videos, I don't want to have stall too much time in the cutscene. Also, also, I figure that most people who are watching this Let's Play already know about the storyline, otherwise why would you be watching it? If you haven't played through the game, then this is going to be one giant spoiler. Anyway, let's jump right into uh, the Mandalia Plains battle. Um, this should, battle should be pretty easy, as long as I keep my distance, kite the enemies, and hit them as, and get them down before they even get to me, I'll be fine. Now, so, also, uh, I have Algus and Delta. I think Algus starts with a potion, so if I take a hit, he might heal me. Oops. A little error message popped up there. That's not good. Sorry about that. Now, I'm going to be picking the first option because uh, the Brave Boost is going to be helpful. Also, I hate Algus. I really do. He's annoying as hell. Not only is his AI a little bit stupid, but uh, he also he kills Teta in the main story. And I, it's not cool, man. Just not cool. Okay. So, yeah, basically, what, like same thing I said before. My strategy here is going to be uh, to kite the enemies. And if the enemies do get close, choke black chocobos have really big damage close range, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, spin over. Sorry about the spin. Four, three, two, one. Source. All right. <laughs> yeah, rams are flying. Looks a little bit eerie, but uh, kind of funny. Uh, it looks like I've got. I have, might have bag and pat with this cat. Now, what am I gonna do? What I'm gonna do here is just with. Even though I char kind of charge with this character, I'm gonna just move just outside the range of uh, 
Oops, one more back. Just outside the range of my enemies, so that I don't get swarmed, but also so I can get the first hit in. Because, again, I only have 24 HP on each character, and uh, it's not going to be... Four, three, two, so I, I can hit them. And so if I get swarmed, it's not going to be very good. Basically, the trick of this Let's Play is basically to keep my people alive long enough so that they don't turn to... So basically, they don't crystallize when they die. Now I'm not too worried about this battle. It's gonna be this battle is gonna be pretty easy here. Oop. <laughs> it still looks pretty fine. Four, three, two, one, source. Okay. Oh, it looks like I can take them out. That's good. And dead. Now the uh, chokeable animation is one of my favorites in the game. It's it looks pretty cool. But, which is another reason why I picked Black Chocobo, because I love the Chocobo animation. But it's not as good as Choco Meteor, but having a red Chocobo, in the, it would be kind of OP in the first chapter, because Choco Meteor does a lot of damage. Oh, looks like I took a hit. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, Black Chocobos also have an innate counter ability, so uh, it's basically an early game counter, which is amazing because it'll help me quite a bit. Like, look right, like just right there, I, I finished off the cat without wasting a turn, which is quite brilliant. All right, let's see. I'm gonna take out our thief. He's really fast, and our Black Chocobos are really slow, so he's gonna be my priority. Uh, anyway, um, this is not going to be my first, not my first, not, not going to be my only uh, Let's Play video, um, series, I mean. I'm also going to be doing a series, I'm also going to be doing a uh, series of Minecraft, so if any of you who are watching this enjoy Minecraft, then look out for that. Um, it's one of, also one of my favorite games. Can I take him up? God damn it, back in time. But he, oh no, I got a crit. Nice. Okay, now it's I I can hit him from here, which is good because uh, that means I can save CT. And saving CT when you have a slow character like Black Chocobo, oh god damn it, is a uh, is a good idea. But I think he can move into my range, can he? No, you no, you can't move in his range. So I'll wait to save CT. Uh, let's see. Four, three, two, one, source. Let's move up beside Algus here. Die in obscurity, thief. Oh, nice crit. <laughs> See, the epic voice makes uh, crits more ha ha uh, more likely to happen. Come on, come on. I only have a couple minutes left, and I don't want to end the video when I haven't finished this first battle. Oh, there we go. That's, that look, turned out good. I can't get to him, but I'll move over here anyway. And I'm sorry about uh, running the, uh, the game on normal speed, but um, I do have the fast forward option, so I can fast forward through cutscenes, and I can also fast forward, like right here, I can fast forward through the game a little bit. With, fa with fast forward button, I'm not. My uh, computer, for some reason, isn't very compatible with the EPSXE. So sorry about the dog growling there. So um, I don't have that option to uh, run the game at a higher speed. Don't want to wait. I want to attack. And boom, that concludes our first battle of FFT. And that can also concludes my first video. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please like or subscribe. And I'll see you next time.